Hello everyone, we are back, and yes, it is that time of, well, no, sort of that time of year now. Um, basically to give you guys a, um, short, uh, I guess, what do you call it, um, history, um, of the channel. Basically, on my birthday, which I'm not gonna say the day, and how old I am, or what month it is, well, it's April, what am I kidding? Um... But yeah, usually every year I did a unboxing of, um, I did an series. I first started out that unboxing series with, um, a birthday unboxing and a lot of people enjoyed it. And so I decided to make it a, to make a unboxing series altogether. That pretty much failed because a lot of people gave me spam and hate saying that I was spoiled, but like, really. Can I not, like, it, I, I can't help it that my dad works at a train store. Like, I can't help that, guys. I can't help it. Um, but anyway, um, so I have decided that I'm going to be doing a birthday unboxing this year in 2016. And in celebration of the year 2016 and my new camera... I'm going to be re, um, readjusting the channel, some might say. Well, that's what I like to say. I'm going to be readjusting the channel to where Bricks Unboxings, no, that's done, it's over with, it is cancelled, there's no more Bricks Unboxings, but there's going to be, uh, Bricks Unboxings version 2, which is just, it's just wooden stuff, there's going to be no HO, no other stuff. It's just wood. Just the wood. Just the precious wood that we all love. Just wood. That's it. That's all we're going to redo. Now these here, the Pokemon Lionel stuff, that's also going to be here because, well, I'm going to bring a lot more Lionel and O-Gage and H-O and hopefully Pokemon content to the channel, but not as much as TWR, but... It's still going to be around, like, guys, I'm still going to like trains, like, even though it's, this is Thomas stuff and wooden, but I'm still, I'm still going to like trains, okay? Still going to like trains. Otherwise, though, so, yes, Bricks and Boxings V2 is cancelled, that I'm going to, that I'm going to call, jokingly, before wood, before wood era, and then, 2016, we're going to have Bricks and Boxings, the wooden era. Like, you know, BC, uh, Before Christ, After Death, stuff like that. I thought it was, uh, pretty funny. Um, so did some of my friends at school that wanted to listen. So, otherwise, because of that small update there on the, uh, channel, and, well, no. Yeah, re- not rebranding, but tweaking and fixing of the channel- there's going to be a different kind of bricks and boxings, and in celebration of that, um, and in celebration of that, I'm going to be doing a birthday unboxing, just like I did back in 2015. Alright, let's get right to it and start. So, first things off, let me start with, uh, eBay. I'll go from stuff that I got from eBay then I'll go to stuff my dad got, and then I'll got, go to uh, something I used with uh, money. Now, for the money part, what I will explain is that um, the relatives that did send me the money, um, there was kind of a, they were going through some medical issues, I'm not going to say what, but they sent me a, uh, not small or big, but a medium amount of money, I won't say how much, but... Like, I kind of felt bad that they gave me, uh, how much it was. It's not a huge amount. It's not like $200, I swear. But, like, I just hope they end out well and everything goes fine. But otherwise of that, let's get to this eBay package. So, yeah, this thing's huge. Ugh, dang camera. Alright, so yeah, this thing is huge. I'm going to flip over the stuff, the information on that side, and it's already been, yes, it's already been opened, it's not been hijacked, it's just, um, recording the camera, but I had to get something. Next item, you guys can probably already tell who it is, it is, get out of the bag, 
a 1992 bin. So yeah, some of you may know, I do... <clears throat> the only bill and bin I have is a 92 bill that my dad found at uh, his work... Legacy Station Train, uh, Legacy Station Trains, uh, Legacy Station, which I'll put right here at the bottom of the video, which also Eric's Trains uses a lot. They're located in, uh, Georgia, USA. So am I. I'm not going to say exactly where, but they are. <laughs> um, my dad used to work for their 10 years, and by the time I knew about the older items, this Bill and Edward's Tender... Um, a 92 Edwards Tender was the only thing that he could salvage from the store and to this day I still haven't found a Edward to go with the Tender and I for some reason never had an Edward as a child so that's really strange I don't know why but I've I've, I've been planning to get one hopefully soon with birthday money and then here is Ben he's actually in much better condition than my Bill and this lady was selling two bills for some reason, so it was really tricky to see. Okay, this one's labeled Bill. This one's labeled Ben. This one's labeled Bill. There's two labeled Bill? What? <laughs> um, the roof ha has seen better days for the white. So has mine. This one's a bit, like, more y uh, of an orange color. Let's focus. This one's a bit more orange, and this one's a bit more yellow. But otherwise, I finally have the twins together, so I can uh, abuse them at the quarry, and it just won't be... Oh. I don't know where he is. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, now they're together. Um, so that's really good. And I should probably put them in their sidings, like so. Oh, and, uh, yeah, I, this is just a set I put together. Tell me what you guys think, if you like it. Alright, and this one is a building that I've been meaning to have for a while. Oh, the bubble wrap just screamed right out. Another cheap bag, but it's effective. This is the, what, 96, I presume? Oh, 97. Okay. The 97, that's really, okay. 97, uh, signal tower. I never really had any signal towers for a uh, wooden railway, and this is the first. I know the 92 version is, like, just a wooden top up here but without this green roof, but, um, I wanted a good signal house so I could, you know, make remakes of things or whatever, and just, you know, it, it's a signal house. It's simple, and that sort of looks like the back of the logging depot, but, yeah, it's simple and it's effective. Oh, and in case any of y'all are, um, any, anyone is confused, thinking that I already have this, the only buildings that I've had is the the uh, water mill with the gates the 96 uh what is it called the the one that went the, the house that went with the muffle mountain set and the red house and those were the only houses i had but this is the newest addition along with two others yes there's more houses <laughs> oh boy um, let me get those out of the way and just put the signal tower right there. So yeah, I, I don't have to be using HO for a signal house anymore. That's good. Next up, we have two more buildings. I'll do this one. There's a black roof. So I would say it's not a duplicate because it it's not a duplicate if you're a long-term... <clears throat> oh, shoot. If you're a long-term fan and you're watching this, then you'll probably know that I have two of these houses in two different years and three of these houses that I, I've got from two different lots. And this house was the pre-version of this house here in the Muffle Mountain set. Um, the only difference is this one was included in the Muffle Mountain set as the house for one of the characters. But it just is basically a generic house. This is what they had before for a black roof 
house. Now it has a bit of, uh, I would call that, um, like, sun? What, what is it called? Sun damage? Cause I don't know what you would call it. I'm going to put stuff, just wood seen there. But yeah, this is from 97 as well. There, I don't want to get too close to the camera. I'm still trying. I'm, I'm still trying to learn of this thing. Okay, I'm. St I'm just still trying to get used to it. So yeah, a bit of damage, but not that bad. It's pretty good neck. Pretty, pre uh, and pretty good neck. Sorry. <clears throat> and then the best one yet out of this lot, um, that came in a very special set. It's wrapped differently as well. It's probably hard to see. It is the James Goes Buzz Buzz house in this house in the set. Now I didn't want to get the full set. Um, I didn't want to get the full set because that would be way too much. So I just got the house for oh like ten dollars I think. The late the lady, the lady I think it was like Izzy May. Yeah, that was it. She didn't know what she had or she kind of knew what she had, but this is pretty good because it came with a beehive, a red door, a clock. And the reason I got this is A, it's uh Yeah, it's a course rare and it's special set. B, I hope to uh get a lot of items that are related to James the character and just stuff like that in general. And C, it's just another house that I can put on the layout and uh on the layout and it's pretty good. So yeah, let me move all the bubble wrap aside and we'll continue on with our next thing. <clears throat> In here, yes, it's already been opened, so there technically wasn't an unboxing, but you know, you all you need to give you need to give feedback to the uh seller and make sure everything came as it as it was said in the listing. So yeah, not really much of an unboxing, but it was needed. So wait, let me pull the uh first two things out of here, and this is not how they're wrapped. I just kind of rewrapped them for this for a pointless reason. Alright, first out of the box, we have, or out of the bag, we have these guys, and my dad only opened the box, or opened the bag, he did not open the contents inside. And remember, this is all for birthday, and he used his money, that means I don't owe him. Nicely packaged, it's in a plastic, oh yeah, this is the cheapy kind, but it works, it works. Alright, so first off, we have a, oh, a 94, Let's see if I can zoom on that, there we go, That that's really clear, hope you guys enjoy the new camera, because uh, you can see the dates much better now, um, that is a 94 Henry's log car without the ends, and open, it didn't come with the logs, but, um, I wanted this because uh, this lady I knew had one. Uh, she dealt with kids and such, and she had one of these that was partially damaged, but I wanted one anyway. Well, well, long story short, she had a bunch of Brio items, and then she had this, which just didn't fit in the mix of things, and I really wanted uh, like to have it, but she wouldn't give it up for sale. So my dad instead bought this from the same seller. And again, all of this is from the same exact seller. Um, but, well, no. All this is from the same seller, so we bought it for a big price that was cheap for everything, and the shipping was combined, just to let you guys know as well, so I didn't pay a huge shipping fee. Everything was combined for the shipping. As I said, the next thing on our list to unbox or showcase or look at for a birthday unboxing is stuff my dad got and oh a beauty it is of what he got this is the um HO version of the um New York Central Dreyfus Hudson 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 sorry um, this thing is, or this item is really nice. This is one of the most iconic, like, boiler fronts of a steam engine with that curve there. It almost looks like a gladiator's helmet. Um, and when I do a review of this, I will mention a lot of things that Eric Siegler said. Uh, I mean, not Eric Siegler. <laughs> Eric's Trains said. Um, no, his real name's Eric Siegler. Um, I think. Um, 
But yeah, there's the nice nameplate. There's not a builder board or whatever, but again, there's not much detail here since it's streamlined. But this was one of my favorite engines seeing as a kid on the I Love Toy Train DVDs. And I remember those? Yeah, those were really good back in the day. And yeah, this is just basically a uh, streamlined cover. Focus, focus. This is a streamlined cover over a basic tender, as you can see in the back. It's really nice. There's a coal pickup thing there. <clears throat> Again, there's not m like it's a. It runs. It's really good. There's not a lot of detail to show, but I really have liked this engine ever since childhood, and it's a really nice model, made by, if I recall, uh, it's somewhere on here. Jeez, I forget the brand who made this. Um, River Rossi, made in Italy. Just focus on that. River Rossi. Made in Italy. There it is, okay. I was waiting for it to focus. So, yeah, this is the thing that my dad got. Now, if we have a chance this weekend and when I upload it, I will I will definitely show a part of this running. But first off, let's take a look at it on the turntable up behind me over there. Boy, I'm gonna enjoy using that turntable a lot over a lot of videos. So yeah, um, speaking of turntable and such, tell me what you guys th thought of that. I thought it was pretty cool. I actually, um, got that turntable from work, as a lot of things I do, uh, for my dad's work, and it runs really good. I just put a transformer connected to it to the motor, it spun right, it spun left, and the reason it stops, if you guys saw, was that's for trains to get on and off, and you can, like, pause at a certain point. But yeah, my dad got this from, uh, his buddy Chad at work, which basically organized stuff, uh, for the flea market. And, uh, he got it from him for, like, uh, I think it was, like, 30 bucks with a lot of other stuff. He didn't tell me what other stuff it was, but it was basically, it was basically, you know, S-Gage and O-Gage stuff for Dad, but there was this and amongst all the stuff, and he got it for me, and with all that, and, and with all the other stuff for him, but this was for me, and it runs really nice. I'm going to show that just about right now. As you can see, it runs really nice. It's a beauty to have on, the, have on any layout, O-Gage or H-O, or whatever gauge you have it in. The only gauges I know it's in is HO and O gauge NTH. I don't know if Lino made it. But yeah, it's really good. And let's move on to the next thing my dad my dad had uh, picked up for me for my birthday. Oh, and uh, if any of you hear a fan noise in the background, that's because there's no air conditioning up here. For some reason, the builders were stupid. And um, I have to use a fan up here for a lot of the time in my film. So, um, yeah. YouTube film struggles. Anyway, um, yeah, next thing, goodness for tough metal cameras, jeesh, that could have been bad, ugh, okay, alright, it's fine, it's working, nothing, nothing shook or anything, or at least I think so, yeah, that's it, it's okay, alright, so what you do see in front of your eyes is, a Kroger sack. Great food for low prices. Well, this ain't any food. It's something that I've been needing for my computer setup for a long time. Speakers! The only weird thing is... Okay, so here's the story. So these are water dancing speakers, basically. You play music, it amplifies out, and 
the water and these lights inside dance as you play the music. I don't know if they go in sync with the music or they just randomly dance or whatever. I'll have to see about that. I'm not going to fill it up now. I'll do a review or whatever on it. Heck, I can do tech reviews. Whatever, why not? Um, but yeah, the interesting thing is, if I get the receipt here, Seems the camera can overheat uh, sometimes, so I'm gonna have to be careful up here. And uh, if you hear that fan closer, that's because I'm gonna try to keep the uh, the uh, camera a lot cooler and me cooler, so it's better. I didn't, I had it far away, so that might be why it was overheating. Uh, thankfully, as a safety mode to turn turn off. Um, but yeah, any, otherwise. Uh, as I was saying, and I've folded the, uh, receipt more so no one can steal anything and credit card information. There it is there. We got Zevia Soda. And then Kroger Sa- ooh. Kroger Savings. And... Party speaker for eleven twenty-five. Now this would usually be a product that would be at least twenty or thirty dollars. But what I'm wondering is why was this marked down so much so that it was my dad being the uh judgmental self he is sometimes of it why would it be marked down that much <clears throat> that my my dad <clears throat> knowing I needed speakers want to buy something like these that's the really strange thing there and there's other stuff here but yeah <clears throat> excuse me otherwise um besides of that um tech speaker mystery on the box it says ultimate fountain light show two sets of speakers portable four multi disc colored lights yes Compatible built-in amplifier, iPhone. Uh, looks works works with all those devices. And uh oh, we're getting hot here. Okay, as we as I was saying, um, I had to bring I had to whoop, turn the fan up a notch because um, the camera was over, was getting a little too hot again. Now it's getting too high. My calendar up there is sort of flapping in the uh, wind of it, but it's not really going to affect, affect this unboxing, uh, except all the bags and bubble wrap and things, but there's not going to be much for the rest of this video. So, <clears throat> let me turn the fan on so that can work better. And let's continue with this so it is compatible with iPhone, iPad, iPod, tablet, smartphones, MP3, MP4 players, laptops, PC, Mac, and compatible. I have a PC, not a Mac. So, yeah. Now, I didn't, I thought these were cool, the water dancing thing. I didn't really want it. I, I mean, I, I wanted a speaker, but I didn't really want that portion of it. I mean, you know, it's nice. I'm definitely not going to fill it up till. Uh, more in a, it's, I have a better computer desk than the squish thing I have now. Picture. So yeah, you, uh, USB, tablets, phones, uh, players. Ha, <laughs> ha, players. Okay, that's weird. Um, output 3 watts, frequency response, impedance, output total, blah -de blah -de blah Let's get started with opening this. I need a cutting tool first. And the camera's getting heated up again. Great.
Oh, look at this. Wow. This, okay, I'm gonna have to zoom out, or, or I'm gonna have to do something. Sheesh, these are big. Okay, let me, let me move the box away. Yeah, that'll work. Let me move the box. Jeesh, these are big. Holy frick. Sorry if there's, uh, off-scene stuff here, but, like, I'm gonna have to zoom out. These are huge. Alright, so these little plastic things here pop out. What's that? There's the USB and audio cords. There's the little uh, foam protective glass cover. All this is packaged very nice. Ooh, yeah. oh yeah, that is, wow. That is really smooth. And it, the glass is protected as well. Don't wanna cut on that, kids. All right, so that's more trash over there. Let's get this open. Okay, so we're back. Now, I am not going to fill these up with water. I'm just going to see if the audio works good and stuff like that. So, yeah, let me get all this stuff set up and I'll be back with you guys when I'm playing some kind of music or something. Let me sign up on me some some video of mine. Ah. Hey, show the glass. Show the glass. Okay. We're still good. Okay, so I was really impressed by these speakers. I was not expecting them to keep up with notes at all, but they did hit a lot of the high notes in, um, <clears throat> they did hit a lot of the high notes in, um, the music I played, thanks to Duncan Duncan right here. And, yeah, they didn't hit all of the high notes, but they hit most of them. I think it's because I had the volume down a lot. But when I do a product review of these, I will, you know, test that a bit more and try to get some more testing things about them. But yeah, otherwise, um, these were really good. Like, I even saw these parts moving uh, up and down. There's foam on the bottom I forgot to mention. Frequency, no, uh, frequency, hey. Whatever that says about the frequency, um... That means how much you can amplify, but yeah. Oh, they use the... Okay, so these are made in China, but they're high quality, it looks like. They molded this it the same way, they just put the sticker on one, one part of it, that's good for being resourceful. Um, that's nice and slick there, there's easy access for it getting inside. As you saw, that I didn't have much water in there, but it did um, bounce up and down still. So yeah, I'm I'm actually really impressed by these. I'm gonna try to hook them up my to my computer if I 
can so possibly do without, without, you know, um, like squeezing in a bunch of duck, um, in, squeezing in a bunch of crap of my screen. Cause originally with my computer setup, I had, I had the printer, I had, the, I have, no, presently I have, the, as I was saying, presently I have my blue snowball microphone, my, uh, HP smart burner, whatever it's called, uh, I, I'll probably put the name up right here, I have a, oh, I can't tell what type of monitor that is, but it has a W symbol of a line under it, and that had built-in speakers, and it came with the computer when I bought it at an estate sale, but, like, you know, the only audio device I had to listen to stuff was my headphones, and I really didn't have any speakers, and I have this, like, wider, like, uh, screen that I really wanted to use, but, like, there was either be uncomfortable after a while with headphones, or go back to the regular, uh, monitor and speakers built in so that I could have audio without, you know, putting the headphones on. So now I can actually do that with these things. I can just put them on the whoa, put them on the side of the monitor. They can amplify their music. They can they can amplify their music, and I can also have a wide screen monitor instead of the really squished thing I have. And yes, there will be a product review of those, uh, a tech product review of those later on down the line when I get a chance to write a script and all that and such. And I have better equipment. And so finally, the, the last thing I have that I have got on my birthday for this first part of the video, yes, this is going to be divided into two parts because I haven't seen other relatives and other stuff hasn't come in the mail. So this is going to be the first part of two. I've never done that, but this is the first part of two. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And this is what I picked out myself from Walmart. There's the thing there. So this is a bunch of Skidbot stuff. There's the bag floating off. Let me put that over there. And basically, I got the Stickbot Studio Pro 2-pack with the orange Skidbot, the white Skidbot, and the tripod, and the fake iPod, so you can pretend like your text on your phone and are doing some kind of... Well, no, that's, that's just for the packaging, my bad. I, was, I thought we got a real iPhone. <laughs> um, and then we have a yellow stick bot, a dark blue stick bot, a almost like Miku hair color or a, a cyan stick bot, a see through orange stick bot, and a dark green stick bot. So I can actually put him to blend in with the green screen. And then also, as an added bonus, I got. Um, this little cheap and generic uh, British looking diesel twin engine here. And this. Like, they were almost $3 a piece and I thought I would get this for either a custom or just another British engine. And this thing, this electric German engine was my favorite out of it. Because you know, I like Germany. I'm Bachman. Yeah. But yeah, th these were pretty good. These were awesome. Let me just throw those out of the way. This is what we're talking about here, everybody. The skit bots. And you know, I have a few of these. Like, no, not many. I have a few. Okay, that was definitely an exaggeration. Seriously, though, I've gotten these over time. So, yeah. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Don't be surprised when you see a Skitbot review, a mega Skitbot review coming out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. I gotta clean all this up now. Yeah, all together I have, uh, if in case any of you wondered, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 one double pack and one Z green screen. So I've just about got all the skit bots that there are except for the uh, metallic series and a few others. But look, like, I'm, I'm gonna try to get every skit bot there is 
that is produced because when I saw this thing, I loved it. And you can already tell I love it still because it's such a great product. No, and, and I mentioned that in my uh, Skitbot review that I nicknamed .5 because it wasn't scripted. But yeah, I'm saving all these up. I'm not going to unbox them because I'm saving them all for a review. So yeah, kind of disappointing, but like I already unboxed this one, so in case you guys were interested. Um, this is their see-through purple one. It's really nice, really good. I really liked it. Like, like I said, these are the perfect fidgets, and they're really flexible, and they withstand a lot of torture um, that I've tested with them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so those are the stick bots, and now time for the wrap-up and, and end of the video. So yeah, for overall, for this part one, it's been, uh, like, look, it's, it's, it's been really colorful, I might say. It's been, yeah, yeah, that's what I'll put it. It's been colorful. <laughs> I got the, uh, big, I, I got the, uh, DJ, DJ Rave speakers. And, uh, these two, whoa, whoa, that almost fell over. These two generic engines that I can use as customs or just, uh, I, or just, you know, engines that appear in the background. I got, uh, Ben, the flatbed, all those skit bots in the background, James Goes Buzz Buzz house over there, the, uh, signal house, the signal tower over there, and the older style, um, the older style black roof house over there. Overall, this has been a pretty good part one so far. A bit crazy at times. <laughs> if, if you know what I mean at some points in time it's been crazy like I said hint hint um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this uh this 2016 year unboxing of the skit bots of, uh, no, not, not the skip bots. Not just the skip bots. Oh gosh, not the skip bots. Just the skip bots. Of, uh, all this stuff I got for my birthday. And, uh, don't forget the, uh, New York Central thing up there. My bad. Um, yeah, a, a lot of great stuff I can't wait to use. These are definitely going to be plugged up straight after this video. Um, those, all these things are going to be put into storage. That's going to be tested sooner or later to sm uh, s smuggle in this video. Um, but yeah, any, any who, hope you guys, you camera, why you got over here? Oh, dang you camera, why you got to overheat? So anyway, yeah, as I was saying, this has been really fun for a part one, Juwan one. There's going to be, uh, an, another episode and why I'm saying that is because, like I said, there's, I'm gonna have, to, I'm gonna be visiting other relatives, and other stuff's gonna come in the mail. So this is just what I have now. I want to get it out of the way so I can, you know, plug up stuff and get these out of the way. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, give, give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for getting rid of the first type of bricks unboxings and just showing wooden stuff. And, like, look, remember, this has been, um, like, look, that was $10, each of the skip bots is $5, so it may seem like much, but it really wasn't in the end, and, um, my dad paid for that, my dad paid for the, uh, houses there, the only thing I paid for was these trains and the skip bots and the speakers he got for me as well, so, I, I got me some stuff for, for my birthday, and my dad got me the rest of it. Uh, my mom might have something hidden away. I'm, my, my sister probably doesn't have anything. But so far, it's been, been a pretty good birthday. T uh, technically a late birthday, because of all the tombstones and testing and such, it wasn't really planned. But thankfully, I got a birthday cake in the end, unlike last year. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, thumbs up if you're excited for the new kind of Bricks Unboxing series. And because of that, that's going to mean that there's going to be less unboxing videos and more actual content. Though I will say one thing, the actual first Bricks Unboxing, new Bricks Unboxing episode, 
have a lot of stuff in it because I've been saving, I've been like putting all that stuff away for storage to then open for the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, celebration of the new Bricks and Boxing series. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the later tomorrow and have a good rest of the day and I hope you enjoy this video. See you later. Just how the fan works in audio, seeing how fast it, how fast and loud it is.